today we'll see how to set inco terms in odo 15 so inco terms stands for international commercial terms and basically inco terms are trade terms published by the international chamber of commerce and it's commonly used uh, both in international and domestic trade contracts and you can enable this uh, inco term uh, for your business from accounting configuration settings so here you can display in core terms on both your sale orders and invoices uh, if you enable this and you can see you can set a default in core term for your company so so we can save this so we have 15 terms of sales accepted worldwide in assignment of cost and responsibility between buyer and seller. So we have set a default inco term. And if you want to create new terms or if you want to configure existing one, you can find a menu inco terms. So when you click on this, you can find the code and name of inco term. So here we can uh, find free carrier, cost and uh, freight then delivery at place. So these are basically intended to convey the assignments, expenses, then uh, the risk related to the transportation and delivery of products. Now, if you open sales and create a sale order or quotation, here, under other info, you can see the international commercial term related to delivery. So here we can choose one. And same way, so after confirming the quotation, when you are creating an invoice, inside the invoice also, you can see that is added like in quote term. So if you want to change the in quote term, you can just click on this and choose a different one. Then when you're creating a purchase order or request for quotation, here under the information of this request for quotation, you can choose an encoder. So these encoder terms are only used for information purpose that defines the international commercial terms and it has no other impacts in other modules so that's all for this video and if you have any doubts related to this video you can add your comments below